Okay, so it's time to set green mode. So we're going to go in the eco mode, try and get really good efficiency. This is hopefully going to be a long run. Reset the trip meters, turn off the air conditioning, or that's even the fan, and select low energy recovery, so the lowest regen level. I'm going to try that to start with. Morning again, everyone. We're off out on another trip, just a social trip today, not trying to prove anything. Um, we're off out to Holcomb Hall, and depending on what happens and what time of day and what the weather's like and what the range of the car's like, we might end up going a really long route on the way back and see if we can get more than 140 miles of range out of the car, maybe 150 miles of range. So we're not planning it, but if the opportunity presents itself, then why not? So anyway, we've set off and I've decided to try a few things to improve the efficiency on the start of the journey. So the things that I've done different are, I've put the car into eco straight away, we've turned the heaters off, that's sort of normal maybe, but we've also put it into low regen, which that reminds me, I can now put it back into high regen. Um, and I put it into low regen because I've realised that um, from a 100% state of charge, the car doesn't use regen at all, and therefore it just uses the friction brakes. The other day the brakes were rusty because um, I'd washed the car, and I could hear them um, grinding from when we were 100%. But I've just checked, and when it got down to 98%, then regen was working. I could see that on the dash display that actual regen was occurring. So without trying to use the brakes and just coast up to junctions and um, using low regen to start with, I'm trying to see whether we can get better efficiency in the first part of the trip. Although will that will that make a difference today? Because it's just started to rain. It's 18 degrees outside. It's quite a dull, damp day by the look of it. So maybe efficiency won't be brilliant anyway. Anyway, to start with, um, where we are right now, if Susan zooms in on the screen, it's showing 5.9 miles per kilowatt hour. So anyway, we'll leave it there as the introduction. I have no idea what's going to happen and what we're going to film. We're just filming it just in case there's something to present. And maybe some of the routes that we're taking will be of interest to some people uh, out on the coast road. So hopefully it'll be a pleasant trip anyway and a pleasant view to present a video. So that's all we're doing today. And yeah, we're down to 5.7 miles per kilowatt hour already. Um, so obviously while we've only done 10 miles, it's going to fluctuate up and down very, very quickly depending on whether we're going uphill or downhill. Anyway, I'll uh, update you later as uh, more occurs on the journey. So we've just arrived at our first destination and uh, it's an old ruined abbey that Cracker and Susan are now off to go and visit. We've used 10% of battery to get here, 113 miles of range left on the GOM and efficiency 6.1 miles per kilowatt hour and yes the average speed is really low traffic has been pretty slow on the way out here and i have been driving economically so yep uh, it's a slow drive but it is typical norfolk rural country roads i'm afraid anyway i'll update you further when we're on the next leg of our journey Okay, we've just stopped at a place just outside Blakeney. We're on our second stop. Um, 93 miles of range left on the GOM. Temperature's gone up to 21 and a half degrees outside. We've travelled 46 miles, an average 6.1 miles per kilowatt hour. So very impressed with the miles per kilowatt hour so far, but um, I think that's just down to the average speed. We're only averaging 26 miles an hour at the moment. Traffic is really slow. And battery percent, we're down to 77%. So we've only used 23% so far and 46 miles travelled. I've been using the lower energy regen level button um, of late and I've got to say um, the driving feeling is quite smooth. It's a much more relaxing drive, driving with less regen. Um, so yeah, for a smoother, more leisurely, comfortable drive, I might try that more often. Whether that's affecting the efficiency or not, that I don't know.
And sadly, I'm really sorry to say that the action cam footage has just been an absolute failure. Um, it's overexposed, you can't really see anything, and the beautiful villages that we've been driving through, we're going to miss them all, I'm afraid, because it's it's just not good enough quality to be able to show you. You really wouldn't enjoy watching, um, well, I don't know, much more than five minutes of um, this sort of footage. So anyway, I'm not going to include too much of this, because... Yeah, I wouldn't want to watch it, so I'm sure you wouldn't either. So just arrived at our third destination. This is North Creek. Just stopping here for some lunch. There's another abbey to look at. And we've got 65% battery left, 69 miles of range, temperatures up to 22 degrees. Sadly, miles per kilowatt hour is down to 5.9. We've had some, uh, well, you've probably seen along the trip, there's been a lot of stops and starts and reversing and uh, a little bit of hills as well. Anyway, I'll update you later as we go along. Time for lunch. Yay! There really is some incredible history here in Norfolk, including this abbey, which dates back to 1206. Time for the next leg of our journey. So uh, we're leaving North Creek and now heading towards Fakenham. Okay, so we've just stopped for some ice cream at Dan's Farm Shop. So this is North Tuddenham in Norfolk. They make their own ice cream here on a dairy farm. Anyway, how are we doing? Uh, 50 miles of range left to go according to this. 22 and a half degrees is a nice warm day. 43% of battery. And we've travelled 101 miles, 5.8 miles per kilowatt hour. And the average speed has gone up a little bit. But it has been hard to um, keep the car at anywhere near six miles per kilowatt hour, pretty much because of the speed of the roads. And it, I don't know why, it seems to be more uphill on the way back. So we'll, we'll see what we get by the time we get home. We just thought we'd stop here for a little bit of ice cream. Because we know it's really, really good. So if you haven't uh, had this before, North Tottenham, Norfolk, Dan's Dairy Farm. All right, everyone, welcome back. We haven't had an update for a little while. Um, we've driven so far 127 miles, and we're still averaging 5.8 miles per kilowatt hour. Um, we've got 26 miles to go on the gasometer, but that has just readjusted. I've readjusted the sat nav to try and work out how far we've got to go, and it did say 31 a little while ago. Uh, so that's not bad, but we've got about 25 miles to get back home. So 25 miles away. And the car says 26 while well, we've been doing 5.8 miles per kilowatt hour. Um, we should still have four or five miles spare. Um, so, so it is going to be it is going to be much closer than it's been before. But 27% battery, 27% battery left. So that's more than a quarter of the battery left. A quarter of say 160 mile range. That's what we uh, are looking at at the moment. That's 40 miles. So there's another guess that by the time we think we're going to be really, really close by the time we get home, there might still be lots of um, miles left to go anyway, range wise. So anyway, it's been a really nice drive. I've just realized that um, I, the camera that uh, I'd normally have on for this sort of view, 
it's uh, it's run out of battery or run out of um, space on the memory card or something. It stops. So I don't know how much we've missed, but I've got a second camera. I'm now about to reload that up, and uh, hopefully we'll get the rest of the journey on the way home. We've actually just had a phone call though from my daughter who is now having to isolate and she's asked for a few essential supplies to be driven in for her um, so that's why i've been on the sat nav again reprogramming it because we've got a last minute journey change and the question is does it add any miles to the journey so that's just what we've been looking at typically just as i'm out judging it really really close we have a last minute call to change the journey that we're doing anyway um we've come this far we've really got to try now we've got to have 150 miles traveled in the car with something left that's what i'm aiming for. I want to get home having travelled 150 miles. So um, yeah, thank you for watching so far. I hope you've enjoyed it. The scenery on this trip has been absolutely fantastic. North Norfolk, when you head out towards Holcombe, Wells, Burnham Market, um, is fantastic. But we just found a gorgeous village of Swannington as well. There are some fantastic places here and putting in details into the sat nav and then following roads I've never been on before has been a bit of an adventure. So I hope you've enjoyed the view. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the scenery. The final um, journey home from here is now obviously going to be through the centre of Norwich. It's not going to be as scenic but um, still might be nice so I hope you enjoy it. Anyway I'll update you when we get home hopefully with 150 miles travelled. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, welcome back for my final update. Um, we have managed to get home okay, no problems at all. In fact, some range left. So I've just popped out again in the car to do some laps on my um, economic lap around um, near where we live. And uh, I've done a couple of laps already. Well, I've now travelled 161 miles. We're averaging six miles per kilowatt hour, which is I'm really happy about that now. Um, the range to go says six miles. I've had lots of alerts telling me six miles, six miles, six miles. Um, and we've got 6% of battery left. Um, but I estimate 5% of battery at 160 miles should be eight miles. So I think we've got eight miles left comfortably because there might be a little bit of reserve as well. So I think we've got eight miles. So um, I'm just starting another lap, which is seven miles long, and it says six miles to go. So yeah, um, the good news is the lap that I do is downhill towards where we live. So I've only really got to go one mile less than what it says, and then I can coast down the hill. Anyway, uh, today's journey has been it's been fantastic. I hope the video on this camera comes out okay. There really has been some beautiful places that we've gone through, so forget range, forget efficiency. I really have enjoyed cruising around Norfolk and enjoying the countryside. The, the average speed we've been doing, 25.9 miles an hour. It, it is a really, really slow speed we've been doing, but some of that was through the centre of Norwich in uh, huge traffic, so um, some of that is stop-start. But it has been slow. Um, I don't think the average went above 30-something um, right from the beginning. Um, it's a little bit shame how this went. We started out with efficiency of 6.1, but it we just didn't manage to get any better than that. And I was quite surprised. I thought the efficiency would get better as the car got warmer and the weather got warmer. But uh, obviously the road and the driving and whatever we were doing just didn't quite do it. Anyway. Um, I'm really happy so far. Um, the Mini, I've now driven 162 miles in the car, which is the furthest I've ever driven. It's obviously, it's obviously more than uh, WLTP says. Oh, these cyclists everywhere. What are they doing? Enjoying themselves, I suppose. So yeah, I've really enjoyed myself, uh, fantastic day, and I'm really pleased that I've now driven 160 miles in the Mini, way more than the WLTP. It gives me the ultimate confidence pushing the car to the, the lowest it can go with, you know, zero miles or one mile to go or whatever. It, it'll give me so much more confidence with the car based on whatever the miles per kilowatt hour is times the size of the battery. Now there's one thing I can add though before I sign off with the video and that's in Bjorn Nyland's videos that he's done for the efficiency for the Mini and a couple of others that I've looked at online uh, on YouTube for some guy in Belgium I think it was a really flat place that um, he drove and managed to get 177 miles uh, out of the Mini. 
and uh, I think yeah one person in the car um, driving slower he was even slower than this because it was basically mostly city driving in an extremely flat environment it was um, nothing like Norfolk which is really really hilly by comparison of what I saw anyway um, what was I trying to say um, it, it's just really good to know that I really can multiply the miles per kilowatt hour times the battery size and work out what the range is but that's, a, that's what I was trying to say with when you're driving slower I think Bjorn Nyland's test when he was doing 90 kilometers an hour showed that the Mini had 30 kilowatt hours of usable battery not 28.9 so if you're driving slower which I noticed this other guy did as well um, when he was getting slow he managed to get a uh, usable battery out of it 30 kilowatt hours so instead of multiplying the miles per kilowatt hour by 28.9, if I'm driving economically like I am, I can multiply it by 30. So 30 times 6 miles per kilowatt hour is 180 miles. So in theory, on what we've seen, if the battery available is more than what they advertise when you drive it slower, then this should be able to do 180 miles. But so far, even at my six miles per kilowatt hour, we're managing 167. So I've, I've noticed that the number of miles we've driven and the number of miles left on the GOM have continued to go up. So a lap ago, it was only 163 in total. Now we're 167 in total. So I've gained four more. So there's more in there, even though it only says we've got four miles left to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, electric range, severely restricted it says, severely restricted, oh, I don't know what the range is severely restricted for, the range is what the range is, anyway, I wonder what the performance is like now we've had that message, I'll uh, give it a squirt of acceleration at the minute and see, anyway we're down to 4% and 4 miles to go, so I thought I'd video this last bit, since the last bit, I guess, you know, out of a six or seven hour driving hour driving day, the last final bits are the, I don't know, tensest, the most interesting, I don't know, but three miles to go, yeah, come on, we need some tenseness here, some drama, don't we, we've got to do a bit of a Guy Martin film, aren't we, are we going to make it, are we going to run out, oh, am I going to get home in time for tea, I don't know. <laughs> I really hate videos like that where they create false drama. Um, I mean, I've got 4% of battery, um, and I had, what did I have? I had 6% of battery when I started the lap, so that's only 2%. I reckon I could do another lap according to this on the percent of battery, even though it says I've only got three miles to go. Um, now, that would be um, brave, wouldn't it? Let's have a go on acceleration. Okay. I got at least 50% of the power there. I didn't, um, I didn't do any more, but uh, it accelerated nicely, no problem, even with only three miles of range to go, 4% battery. So that's nice. Um, I know I can go really low and not have to limp home at 20 miles an hour. So I don't know. I don't know what the truth is of this. You know, if the car's driven 164 and I got three to go, that's 167. But I think six miles per kilowatt hour times 30 is 180. Are there really that many hidden in reserve? Are, are there really another 10 miles in there at least? That's um, it's a bit naughty then, isn't it? If um, there really are that many more miles in there, but it's not letting you see them. You, you think with a small battery, it would try and give you as much as you can to give the feeling of as long a range as possible. Yeah, we shall see. Ooh. Ooh, what happened there? Uh, the battery percent just dropped to 3%. Oh, I guess it was 4, yeah, so don't panic now. Oh, look, somebody's doing a range test up ahead, and they're broken down. Yeah, these petrol cars, they're not very reliable, are they? He's probably run out of petrol. I shouldn't laugh, should I? Because if I run out, I haven't got an extension lead with me to um, beg, borrow and steal some energy from somebody. I really was hoping to do another lap, but if it's seven miles and I've only got three miles to go and three percent, 
and I've used what have I used? I've used three percent in a lap so far, so it really would be down to zero percent battery if I did it. Not sure, not sure what to do here, whether to try and get to 170 miles of range rather than uh, just 160. It's flashing away at me all the time. Range three miles, range severely restricted. But no turtle, which is a shame, is it? We like turtles. Maybe Mini doesn't do turtles. Maybe there's no turtle image. So I guess it is worth saying, um, the air conditioning has not been on at all today. Um, so that's one of the ways we can get as high range as this, because you know, we just prefer to have the windows open. Um, if I had a sunroof or rear quarter vents, we'd have those open. I just prefer the fresh air, even with the noise, than the air conditioning. Okay, I was just making a decision there on where to go, and I think we'll take a little detour. Uh, and I've taken the detour, and there's already a train coming, so... I'm going to have to wait at the uh, train line. Again, it gives me an opportunity to go really, really slow. It's very interesting because one of the most pessimistic ways of measuring range to go in the Mini is every percent that you've got is a mile. Well, at the moment, it's saying two miles to go, and yet I've still got three percent. And that's um, the really pessimistic way of doing it. So it, it, there must be more miles than two miles in there. I hope so, because I'm more than two miles away from home. And there goes the train, so that means the gate should be opening any minute. Well, I don't think I've ever been as low as this in any of the cars. I've had two miles to go. Or did I? Did I get to one mile in the Kona? I can't remember, it was single digits, it was very, very low. <laughs> so there's something to think about. If I was in the Kona and I had this much battery left, what percent would it be? Because it's more than half, so it, it would be 1%, wouldn't it? I'd be down to 1% of battery. Or less, less than 1%. And there's the daft thing, isn't it? And I think this is that's a, that's a really good point for emphasising something that I've thought about for quite a while, that with a bigger battery, you seem to get more scared of range than you do with a smaller battery. Well, I am anyway. So if I was in my Kona 64 and I had this much battery left and just a couple of miles of range, it would be 1% or 0.5%. It would be a, a tiny percentage, not not 3%. So, but because the Mini's got a smaller battery and it says 3%, well, that feels bigger and feels more. So um, I'm not as anxious. So how daft is that? So you've got a got a bigger um, battery and you're going to get more anxious about it just because the numbers are low. So that's now 167 miles travelled and two miles of range left to go. It's been on <laughs> two miles for the last mile, thank goodness. So that's 169 in total. Two percent of battery left. One mile of range to go. I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe I'm deliberately going to run the car down to zero. My logic tells me there must be more miles in the car. It's not just going to stop, even when we get to zero. 
<laughs> but I still don't like the idea of actually driving to zero and beyond. But I've never done that, so there's a first for everything, isn't there? 2% of battery left, 168 miles driven, one mile to go. And it said one mile for a little while now. So that's a total of 169 miles of range. Really getting to the last countdown here, aren't we? Come on, regen, regen, regen. Never been this gentle on the throttle. I just wish I understood how the calculations worked with this. If the calculations on um, miles to go are based on not the six miles per kilowatt hour that I'm doing, then I've still got a few more miles. Um, although it says 2% of battery, well, 2% is is what? 1% is a mile? That's Oh, 1% of battery. Uh-oh. 1% of the battery would be th <laughs> 0.3 of a kilowatt hour. <laughs> 0.3. A third of a kilowatt hour. And I do 6 kilowatt hours an hour, a third of that. 2 miles. Okay. So is it lying about the percentage of the battery, or is it lying about the miles to go? But anyway, we've got the 170, so that's 169 miles travelled, and one mile of range left. Slow down, Nigel, I do not need to do <laughs> more than 30 miles an hour. This is really good though, I mean, it's, um, apart from me driving really economically, it doesn't feel severely restricted, it still feels quite, quite alright. I mean, it's still accelerating beyond 30 miles an hour there, and I, I, yeah, I mean, oh, zero miles to go, that's it. quiet now. How daft is that? How daft is that? I'll go quiet. <gasps> Zero miles! There you go, I arrived back, 170 miles of range travelled, 6 miles per kilowatt hour, 26 miles per hour average speed, 0 miles left to go on the GOM, and I still had 1% of battery. Well, you know, 1 and a bit, I guess, 1 point something mile uh, percent of battery left. So, uh, all in all, a really good productive day, and yes, this Mini Electric can do 170 miles, which... I wish I was brave. I wish I could just keep going till it ran out and there was an easy way of um, recharging because six miles per kilowatt hour, 30 kilowatt hours usable battery should be 180 miles. Even if it was 5.9 miles per kilowatt hour or something like that, and even if it was 28.9 um, kilowatt hours, that's still more than 170 miles. So there should be a, there should be a little bit more in there, but 
1% of battery. And you know, I just don't trust it. Anyway, so that's that's all. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope this ending wasn't too pathetic trying to... Um, well, I haven't been trying to sense it up, but it's just good, isn't it? It's good to run the car down to zero as close as you dare go to get to get a feeling for it, see what happens, see what the error messages are, and see how the performance is. It is good to do it. Take care, and see you again soon for another video. Solar, batteries, and electric cars. Bye for now. And the worst thing about doing this uh, test on camera for videos is now that the battery is empty, I can't leave it like it, and therefore I can't charge the car on solar. It's the end of the day. There is no sunshine. I don't know what the time is. It must be nearly six o'clock. So we've got a charge from the grid. Well, from the battery, home storage battery to start with, and then from the grid. So I need to get the car back to at least 20% overnight. Bit of a shame. But got to be done. And just as a bit of an outtake, I thought I'd leave you with uh, this little clip of me negotiating part of the old entrance to the Norwich Cathedral, dropping off those uh, supplies to my daughter. It's not just that it's narrow, it's that the curbs look a little bit high at the sides and I've got brand new wheels on the car. That was tight.